Philippians chapter 4. Very often the believers are called saints. So Paul writes in Philippians 4.22, All the saints greet you, especially they who are of Caesar's household. Literally, a saint means a special one. Someone who's been called out and chosen to be special. We are each special, and God has got a unique personal plan for each of us. That's why we're all unique as, as persons. We have a different genetic background, a unique fingerprint and personality. We've all passed through unique life experiences. Nobody else can quite understand all that we've passed through. But all this is because God has a unique purpose for us. An eternal future which is specifically designed for us so that we will exist on the highest personal level of happiness and fulfillment that is possible. We are indeed, therefore, saints, special ones, special to God, called out of this world. Unfortunately, there's the common idea among religious people that only a few of God's children are saints. It's as if just some of them, like Paul or Peter, are seen as special, and the rest of us are just, as it were, in the herd, not very important, seen by God as just the mass. No, this is not the idea of God's purpose, of true spirituality and relationship with Jesus. It may be the idea of religion, but to be a Christian is not really, in that sense, to be religious. What it is to be a Christian is to be spiritual, to have a personal relationship with Jesus. That's nothing to do with religion, going into buildings, doing rituals, identifying with some human group. We are each special to God and to Jesus. We are saints. We're bound together with others who have entered the same relationship with Jesus. We read that the believers, or saints in Philippi, were greeted by those with whom Paul was at the time. And he was in prison in Rome. <clears throat> but some of the, what he calls the household of Caesar, had also become Christians, and they greeted the brothers in Philippi. So, the idea seems to be that in Rome, some of the slaves and the extended family of Caesar had become Christians. And they were in contact with Paul, who was in prison in Rome. And they're now, through this letter, in touch with people like Lydia, whom Paul was writing to in the Philippi. So you see how there was a global network of these saints, these special ones. And they were in the strangest places and situations in life. Lydia was a wealthy businesswoman in Philippi, and there were slaves who were in Caesar's household in Rome. But one here, one there. These are the saints, and so it is today.